Hi everybody and welcome again to my Sky Factory series. So um, yeah, I'm trying to find or figure out a better way to um, set up my entire um, Civ system, basically. Uh, not my Civ system particularly, but I'm having a problem where it just seems like, even though I have filter pipes uh, set up and so on and so forth, this system here with the autonomous activators working and trying to make gravel from cobble, uh, sand from gravel, and dust from sand, it just seems to really not be working how I had hoped. Or maybe with a little more time and effort, I could get it working a little smoother. But uh, plus, I do want, in our sieve system, I want all three types to come in. Uh, I do want some gravel, some sand, which is working uh, to a degree. And there's also some dust, but I just don't think it's as, it's as efficient as it should be. So today's episode will be about setting up, a di like setting it up differently. That's what it is. So I am going to organize everything. I have an, made this platform a lot bigger. I've been working on, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of stone bricks. And I've been making this a lot larger because eventually we will, you know, definitely grow, grow out of this and need a lot more space. So let's work today in organizing this in a different way using pulverizers instead of the activators over here in these two I want to say in these two sections um, see we have dust coming through when I know I have the filter uh, I have the filter set up so that the dust goes over to our sieve system but many times the dust is getting destroyed so even though I know that there are probably ways to fix this um, I'm not going to spend the time on that is what I've decided. I've decided to move on kind of. So, so let's see how we can kind of move forward with this and, um, like just change this up a little, change it around a lot. I think this needs a little bit of a revamping is what I mean. All right. So I'm going to work on, let's see, I have it over here. Actually, I've got a bunch of supplies ready. I've already created two pulverizers, a bunch of activators. Now these are going to be for our sieve system. Our sieve system cannot be changed to actually use the sieve um, we need to have the uh, activators working with them. So, but I'm going to move stuff around here. I'm going to make this, this is going to look different, um, just because we might need more than one vacuum. So I might need, but I could use these since I'm going to take these away. We won't be using these vacuums here anymore. I could use these. So I don't need to create more, more vacuums. So I think it can run really well. It's just a matter of a revamp, uh, reorgan or reorganization of everything and let's see if I can get it um, working better. Okay, so uh, I am going to start moving stuff around and I will get rid of these. So these won't, you know, come through here anymore. Let's just stop this. So there's no more uh, cobble or anything coming through. It's empty anyway. And let's get on. And this will help actually also with our whole, um, our whole hammer production process we won't need to use hammers anymore which is a big help although with the emmy crafting you can eventually have it auto craft so but we'll use that later on i am going to need that later on when we want to process the ores which i have an idea for that as well it might be well that'll be later on i don't need to get into it now so so yeah we're going to need hammer production still but it won't be for this process right here so what i'll do is i just have to figure out exactly where i should place it um, to have everything kind of work as um, efficiently as I can, basically. Or, yeah, I think as efficiently as I can. So the most annoying thing are the vacuums uh, <laughs> because they just are grabbing everything. So let me get rid of the vacuum first. There we go. And let's get rid of this vacuum. I was calling these stations, actually, before. I was trying to remember how I called it stations. So each station, we're going to get rid of these and we're going to change it and use, change it up a little and use pulverizers instead. So we have the two vacuums. What happened to the other vacuum? Hmm. What happened to the vacuum here? I lost the vacuum. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Where would the vacuum have gone? It wouldn't have gone in the sieve because, hmm, I lost a vacuum along the way. I totally see that happening. Maybe it fell. Ouch. Um, yeah, sometimes it's kind of a little quirky or I miss stuff along the way probably so yeah I'll have to look for that and see what happened to our vacuum ah there it is there it is it was stuck over there all right so we have our two vacuums those are probably the most important but I could always craft it again let's grab this and let's just get this there we go okay so this was the one that's bringing okay 
And as you can see, we have a felter pipe down there. Oh, this is getting backed up now. So what we want is, um, actually, you know what? I should have left the vacuum on to finish the process of what we have here in, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's connect this again. So go over to our, our, our interface here. And I always forget, oh yeah, sorry. I'm doing this all wrong. There we go. So we want to connect it on this side. There you go. Now it's connected. So there we go. So you know what? Since we've already closed off or broken the transfer pipe, I'm going to let these get through these. I'm going to actually finish off all this cobble from this activator rather than me trying to move it somewhere. Let's have that finish up and I'll be back as soon as that that's done. And I'll, I'll start moving the sieves around and see the best way I can set things up. Okay, be back in a bit. Hi everybody. Okay, so after a little bit of work and trying to organize things well, I set up a whole bunch of these um, autonomous activators with sieve systems. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six. I do want to add one more. The problem is I did not have enough string to make it. We need about, I think it's not about, we need 18 pieces of string to make the sieve. So of course I infested some leaves again and we should get a ton of string from these trees. So we should have enough then. So basically I took away these stations that we had that were hammering away, making cobble from cobble to, let's see, uh, this, I'm sorry, the stations that are making cobble to gravel to sand to dust. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it up and we are going to use pulverizers instead. And we're going to have our different stations here. And I want to be able to create everything. I want to make gravel. I want to make sand and I want to make dust. And I want to have everything going into these, this sieve system here. And we could always expand this. I think the way I set up the vacuum hopper should cover everything. If we see it doesn't cover this last one, I could always either add another hopper or or actually um, just move it over one. Maybe just one would be enough. But we'll see how we'll do that. I, st I, have a I still have one more hopper from our other system that we just broke down. And uh, yeah, so I'll have everything coming into this side. I've decided to work on this side with the pulverizers, not over here. We'll leave this empty for now. And we'll see how we handle. The only problem I see is that um, hmm, the cobblestone generator. Well, I could still run these pipes underneath since at this point we don't have so many pipes like we did before. Actually, by taking away these two uh, stations that we had here, I got rid of a lot of the transfer pipes that were around. I mean, they're still under there. I just have to take them uh, off. But I could run the cobblestone generator, uh, the cobblestone right underneath, um, right up to the pulverizers. I don't think that will be a problem, actually. I didn't really think about that till now. So let's see. See, all of this, for instance, this is not connected anymore, this one. So this one can go. Let's just do that. Let's get rid of this while we're here. Whoa, wrong block, wrong block. Let's see, luckily I have extra one. There we go. So, right, this one has to go. This one we don't need. So we can keep getting rid of this. And actually, you know, I probably could have used that for the, yeah, we don't need this anymore. So that'll be done. And let's close this up because we don't need to run it underneath. And this actually could be running underneath a lot better. So let's go ahead and break it. I don't know why I put it on. Oh, because I didn't want it to connect to the one next door probably. That's why I did that. So let's go ahead and run it underneath. So just because it looks nicer. Just, it's kind of just a, a look thing. All right. And then let's see, can I, there we go, close that up. Awesome. So yeah, that looks a lot better. Now remember this one we're keeping because this brings our soul sand over to our um, sieve system. So we need that one. And this one as well is done. So this is, see, I can get rid of what is happening here. I'm trying to figure out where this is headed here. Let's see. Let's see what this is doing. It's our, um, Ah, this is grabbing sand. That's what this was doing. So I'm still going to need this piping. So wherever all our pulverizers are that are, you know what, but I could just make extra pulverizers and have it directly next to that station. That would be the best since pulverizers are cheap to make and I have a ton of ores right now without a problem. Definitely this is something that is not necessary. Let's get rid of all this. We've got our, oh gosh, there was stuff. St oh yeah, because I used, I guess that's what it was because I used it to actually use the filter pipe. I thought it just used a ghost image. I didn't think it used the actual dust and sand block. I guess it did. I didn't expect that to fall from there. All right, so let's just clean it. This is a great thing because this is going to clean up a lot of this craziness that's going on. 
So the only pipe I really have to bring quite a distance is the cobblestone generator pipe. That's really what I need to do. So, and if we ever decide we're gonna make an igneous extruder, which I haven't really made that decision yet, maybe later on we think that that's better, I can go ahead and, and get rid of all this piping and make it closer to where our entire system is. So, all right. So this is right. I said, this is where we're, we're bringing into the um, soul sand system sand, but we're gonna put its own pulverizers there. So it just, you know, is totally apart from everything else. So just so we don't have the piping everywhere. So all I really have to do is, which I'm gonna actually redesign this. I think what I'm gonna do is place these two barrels up on top of the cobblestone generator because there is room up there. See, we could just put it right up here. Yep, that would work. Put it right up here and have it run so it's not like so ugly like in the way of everything. I think I'm gonna do that, but that'll do later on, not in this episode. So I won't, I mean, I won't have it ready for this episode. And here we have our soul sand that's coming from this hopper and heading over to our sieve system. Yeah, so so we cleaned that up pretty nicely. Good, good. So let me head up here and take a look again. Yeah, so we have this hopper, which I don't think I set it up right. It should be a little higher. I noticed that soul sand is getting stuck like in this corner. So I think I have to raise it up. It's not really set up well. So I'll have to change that up a little. So what I could do is break this, for instance. It's gonna fall. Whoa, don't fall. Of course it fell. Oh no, it didn't fall. I couldn't grab that one. That one I couldn't grab. Okay, what I can do is have pulverized set up here to create sand, cobble coming from our generator in. For instance, we have to pulverize. We can do that right now. The only problem is the power now. That The power I have to route in many different ways at this point. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, let's go ahead and I think we could have it go in this direction. I wanna say we could have it go from right to, from from let's see, from right to left, right. So I think we could do it that way, right? Like, couldn't I have this red or orange and close up this one, right? I think it's kind of the same. I hope it works that way. Let's see, um, let's grab some. So what we need is cobble to gravel and then gravel to sand, right? That's what we want. So let's get a, uh, let's get a whole um, stack of cobble. I mean, of course I'll hook it up. I just wanna see if I'm doing this right, because I actually never did it from right to left. I never hooked it up. Of course, it's not powered, so that would not help anyway. So I want it to go in this direction. I hope that that's what that means. Let's see. I don't know if I have that right, actually. And then we have blue over here. Yeah, so we want the blue. We want it to go, uh, let's see, we want this blue be red or red or orange I think red or orange is fine let's see if I did that right yes exactly so now we need an item transfer node right because um, it does doesn't won't go out right by itself so we need an item transfer node and a pipe that goes ah, I have it too too close right it won't it won't connect it yeah it's too close I need to make it one block over which would be perfect actually can move it a couple blocks actually so let's grab our crescent hammer that's the best way to break this up i mean to take it with us please don't go in the fur ah, i knew that was going to happen whoa i didn't mean to do that either i always forget that all right there we go we've got our pulverizer and let's grab the next one that it's also going to yeah there it goes oh no i grabbed it cool all right <laughs> all right let's uh let's do this let's actually put it right here that makes more sense blue and blue no we don't want that and let's go ahead and break this. There we go. Now we could set up correctly. There we go. And our transfer pipes. There we go. And this one, we want to make this blue. There we go. Now it's connected. We could actually change the back so it doesn't need to have a blue, right? Good. Yeah, so that'll bring, so hopefully it'll go in this direction. Like I said, right to left and make sand, hopefully. So we just have to power it up at this point. Um, so we would put, let's see if I got this right. Um, no, we wanna change it around. So this is red, sorry. And this is, um, this is closed, right. And this side should also be red. Let's see if this works out for me, I hope so. I hope so, I hope so. A little faith, a little faith. And this we wanna connect. So the blue is in the back, that's good. Great. All right, awesome. 
yeah, we just wanted to go into this one, move in this direction. Now all I have to do is power it. Yeah, it sounds easy, right? <laughs> Something will go wrong. Whoa. What'd I do? Didn't the top change there to yellow? Or it was maybe. Hmm. I don't know what happened there. Okay, I'll have to go back and see the video. Let's go to the replay there. Okay. So now we just need power, which is a problem because it's far. And I only have three, <laughs> three leadstone. You know what? Let's test it out first. Rather than me worrying about the leadstone conduits, let's go ahead and grab my survivalist engine, which I think I have it. I did have it in one of these chests. I was using it earlier, if you remember. We may have took it out. No, no, here it is. Awesome. And we do need some, uh, some coal for it, but that's okay. I'll get some coal. Let's try and see. Ah, it's not going to power both, though. Hmm. Well, we can just see how it works. Let's see if I can at least get it. All right, let's see what happens here. If it goes through to the net. All I need to see is it goes, if it goes the way I think it will. Oh, it already kept its power from before. Awesome. That's a nice uh, <laughs> feature that it keeps its power. All right, so this is turning into gravel. I want it to go into here. Ah, this has to be blue, maybe? Yes, yes, that was my mistake. All right, so the gravel is coming into here. And what will happen is this, when I power it, it will turn it into sand and move it in this direction. So it's okay, even though it's kind of quirky and weird that it's going in the wrong direction. <laughs> like, when I say the wrong direction, it's not, you know, we normally always kind of like the way we read left to right. But it's working well. For this case, this purpose, we need to have it go the opposite way. So I think it's working good. Then we have this. So what I need is this yellow to also become red, right? Is that true? Will that work? And also go into the next... Hmm. Let's see how this works, actually. Uh, I don't know if this is... Okay, this one can close. This is up on top, right? Then I don't know. I have to get the yellow to also l go to the next... Which, how would that work? I'm not really sure. Gosh, this is always, for me, a little... So I need the yellow one to also go move into here as well. So I'll have to figure that out. That's okay. For now, that's not as important as, as just having it working. And now we have this incrementing over here, right? 23, right? So this is working great. So here it will become sand, go into our soul sand generator. Now, this will get backed up, right? But it will stop. The good thing is it will stop once it's uh, reached. So let's go ahead and grab this. Let's see if there's any more power on this guy. And let's see. Yeah, it's powering up just to see. Let's see that it works. Remember, I have to use leadstone conduits, of course, to power this up to our main system. But I'm just testing out right now, make sure it's working. Okay, so we don't see it because it should be going into this activator. Yes, it is. Awesome. Yep, so working very well. It's just a matter of powering these two machines. Great. So that's kind of what we're going to do over here. We're going to have one pulverizer making gravel. We're going to have two making sand and three making dust. That's how we're going to work on that. So I already have, let's see, those were the two pulverizers I had actually. So we need to grab this one. And this is my furnace. Let's grab that. So I need to move stuff here out of the way basically. Work on rearranging things and hopefully... We can get things. Actually, no, let me leave that open because I could actually leave it right here. Just got to get this out of the way. I was, I was actually, I was started making some seared bricks for Tinker's Construct and lots of stone to just expand um, the whole platform a lot better. So we're going to head over here and let's just throw all this in here. From now on, this way we always just come to our ME system for everything. And let's see, redstone furnace. Yeah, I, I probably will use that at some point. And let's just, I know I should have used my dolly. Anyway, it's okay. Let's, uh, let's get rid of it. It's just a few items. So let's just throw it all in here. Some dust, some more stone. Great. Okay, great. So I can actually take this item and work on making our difference. Now, this is great because since we already have the conduits here, this should be easy to set up. Like I said, we're going to have... Um, the only thing is I have to bring cobblestone over here. That's the only thing I kind of have to work with a lot of piping 
to uh, be able to have that run. So, but it looks good for now. It looks good. I'm very happy with it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, let me know what you think of my little setup that we're going to work on here. Like I said, we're going to have one pulverizer here, we'll have two in a row here, and we'll have three in a row here. And I think that'll be more than enough um, to automate the whole gravel, sand, and dust system and head over to our sieve system. Actually, I probably should move them closer in this direction, like all of them should be really as close as possible here to the sieve. And I could always work our way this way because since we have more room here for the sieves to run and I could always make this platform run towards our squid farm. So I think that that would be best. Anyway, if you, have, if you have different ideas, if you set this up differently, please let me know in the comments how you've done it. I love, if you wanna send me an image for instance of how you have your system, I would love to see how people have set up different systems. So if you, if you can, uh, I absolutely would appreciate that. You could always send it. I guess you could just send it in my YouTube email and um, that would be awesome. So guys, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I hope you're enjoying Sky Factory. Remember to leave a like. You don't know how much it helps me if you enjoyed the episode, of course. So hope to see you soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.